सेल्स ऑफ द इम्यून सिस्टम पार्ट वन रिकॉल दैट आर इम्यून सिस्टम इज द कलेक्शन ऑफ सेल्स मॉलिक्यूल टिश्यूज एंड ऑर्गन्स लेट एस नाउ स्टडी सेल्स ऑफ द इम्यून सिस्टम सेल्स ऑफ द इम्यून सिस्टम आर नोन एज ग्लूकोसाइट्स इन ग्रीक ग्लूकोज मीन्स व्हाइट एंड काइटोस मीन्स सेल वी नो दीज सेल्स एज व्हाइट ब्लड सेल्स एप्रीवेटेड एज डब्ल्यू बी सीज Leukocytes arise from bone marrow. In the bone marrow, most of these cells develop as well as mature. Leukocytes are found in blood and lymph. Thus, they are dispersed throughout the body. Leukocytes are also known as immune cells. Leukocytes have been further classified into two groups: granulocytes and acranulocytes. The basis of this classification is their appearance under light microscope. In case of granulocytes, the granules present in their cytoplasmic matrix is clearly visible under light microscope. But in case of a granulocyte, cytoplasm appears uniform since the granules are invisible in case of a granulocytes. In this video lecture we will cover granulocytes granulocytes characteristic feature of granulocyte is their nuclei granulocytes have irregularly shaped nuclei with 2 to 5 lobes this is clearly visible in these images another characteristic is that the granules of these cells stain different colors and this depends upon the type of granulocyte and the dye which is used for staining granulocytes are of three types number 1 basophils number 2 eosinophils number 3 neutrophils the basis of this classification is the difference in their cell morphology and the staining of their cytoplasmic granules basophils the cytoplasm of basophils is heavily granulated as you can see in the image enormous number of granules are present in greek basis means space and phylon means to love that is base loving it refers to the fact that granules of basophils are readily stained by basic dyes granules stain blue purple with basic dye methylene blue under light microscope basophils look like this the granules of basophils contain vasoactive mediators for example histamine leukotriene vasoactive mediators are those substances which influence the tone and diameter of blood vessels basophils play role in inflammation and allergic responses they are relatively rare in circulation they constitute less than 1% of the blood leukocytes eosinophils eosinophils have two lobed or bilobed nucleus and these lobes are connected by a slender thread of chromatin Now if you look at the term eosinophil phylon means to love eosin eosin is an acidic dye so the granules of eosinophils are acid loving that is they are readily stained by acidic dyes so granules stain red or orange with acidic dye eosin red under light microscope eosinophils look like this Eosinophils are motile phagocytic cells. By motile we mean that these cells have ability to leave the blood stream and migrate into tissue spaces. Eosinophils provide defense against protozoan and helminthic parasites. They also play role in allergic reactions. Now we said that eosinophils provide defense against protozoan and helminthic parasites but if we look at size of 
such parasites, it seems impossible that eosinophils ingest them and destroy them by the process of phagocytosis. Since the size of eosinophil is too small, so how do they act against these parasites? Actually, eosinophils attach to the surfaces of such parasites and release substances which are harmful and which destroy these parasites. Neutrophils In case of neutrophils, nucleus has 3 to 5 lobes. So, they have a multi-lobe nucleus. Now in Latin, neuter means neither and phylum we know means to love. So, neither loving, which means the granules of neutrophils are neither acid loving nor base loving. Granules are stained deadly by neutral dyes. They stain neutral pink. And neutral dyes are actually compound of acid dye and basic dye. Under light microscope, neutrophils look like this. Neutrophil is also known as polymorphonuclear neutrophil. This refers to its irregularly shaped and multi-lobe nucleus. Neutrophils are most abundant leukocytes in the blood. They constitute about 50 to 70 percent of the blood leukocytes. Neutrophils are active phagocytic cells. To understand this, let us look at this diagram. Neutrophils circulate in blood. But when there is an infection, they get signal and then they migrate to the site of infection from the bloodstream. And then in the tissues they become principal phagocytic cells. In neutrophils, granules are of three types. And this is based on their size, morphology and density. The larger and denser ones are primary granules and smaller ones are secondary granules and tertiary granules. All these granules, they contain antimicrobial substances which help in killing and digestion of the phagocytosed microbes. Neutrophils are first cells to migrate at the site of infection, but they do not provide prolonged defense since they have a lifespan of few days. Mast cells Mast cells are similar to basophils in appearance and function, but they have an indented nucleus. The cytoplasm is filled with granules that contain vasoactive mediators. Mature mast cells are found in tissues, for example skin, mucosal surfaces, connective tissues of organs. They play role in inflammation and allergic responses. So, in this video lecture, we studied granulocytes which are of three types, basophils, eosinophils and neutrophils. We also studied mast cells which are similar to basophils in appearance and function. In the next video lecture, we will cover agranulocytes.